Five disturbing videos caught by campers in the woods by Mr. Nightmare. Okay. Xylophobia is the fear of the woods or forests. A large chunk of the population exhibits at least a partial form of this phobia, and the reason for that isn't so surprising. Being out in the middle of a forest at night naturally can bring out an innate fear we have programmed into us that's meant to keep us alive. Mm -hmm. That fear can stem from the darkness of the woods itself, or rather what may be hiding in the darkness, be it wild animals, Bears. or sometimes even worse, other humans. Bears. These are some instances caught on video of campers realizing they the may fuck? not be alone in the middle of the woods. All right, we got video footage. Starting with this video, we see a group of friends out in the middle of the woods on a camping trip, where they were drinking by the fire and having a good time. The group started so hearing blurry. strange noises in the not so far distance. Noises that started with loud bangs and then turned into something more disturbing. When the sounds kept happening, one of the men Let decided me to start recording, and this was the video he captured. I hear that? Fucking drums? Get Trevor. Austin, get the light. Right. Get the gun. Mm. Mm. No. We're leaving. Can't be tricked, but over. We can go play video games hey. or some shit, bro. Ain't no way. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Is that just his homie in the woods? Wait. Let me hear that again. <laughs> yep. Fuck. Hey! Oh, that was Motherfuckers ran into Bigfoot. What is that? What? Get Sounds like Bigfoot trying to smash. That's got to be his homie up there. <laughs> making, making gorilla noises and batting a drum. Everybody, get in my truck. <laughs> As you just heard, the unknown bangs in the distance were followed by strange animalistic grunts and. <laughs> bro, the voice acting, bro. <laughs> it's just a guy shitting in the woods. <laughs> Listen to him, bro. I'm crying. Get in my truck. <laughs> he said. He said. Everybody, get in the truck. As you just heard, the unknown nah. bangs in the distance were followed by strange animalistic grunts and calls. I feel like I'd be freaking there out way harder than that. There is human element to the vocals, but the sheer volume. I'd be like, get in the fucking truck. Vocals, especially taking into if that consideration was like actually how significant or some shit. the audio uh -uh. can become in the recording process is what creates the question of whether these vocalizations were actually made by humans or not. The sounds also appear to be coming from more than one source, as one call sounds Sound like much Bigfoot closer than making the other. little foots. The bangs are also very questionable. <laughs> There's clearly a lot of power behind whatever the bangs are. <laughs> pause! Double pause! There's clearly power behind what the bangs are. Yeah, that's big, Bigfoot's thrust, buddy. <laughs> the bangs are also very questionable. <laughs> There's clearly a lot of power behind whatever the bangs are. And if the bangs were to be coming from a tree being hit with something by a human, Bro, the quick crying. speed of the bangs would be shocking to say the oh least. Oh my god. The bangs do seem to resemble a kind of drumming sound. But that only opens the door to more questions, <laughs> such as who and why would anyone be banging on drums in the middle of the woods at night? Oh, it's Whatever a, the it's sounds fresh were, spring? the group of friends made the right call getting back in the truck, getting out of there as quickly yeah. as possible. Before it was them next. Who Similarly, knows? in this next video, Another YouTuber is sitting by his campfire at his campsite at the Ferry Lake, Quebec. Damn! At an unknown hour in the night, when he hears sounds out in the distance. Oh, nah. Choosing to investigate, the man walks uh, through no. the pitch black Why wood. would you camp here? Can you even grow crops here? Sounds what? out in the distance. This ain't camping. There's definitely a rake in here. Choosing to investigate, or the man walks man, through bitch. the pitch black woods with the only light being pitch from his Pitch black flashlight. woods. Oh yeah, let's go camping, bro. Oh yeah, we can set up the tent right there. Yeah. We can just move the trees around a little bit. Hell nah. Hell nah. Let's see how this place looks like. Why are the life. trees all torn up? No. Pitch black. Imagine being out here.
yeah, no. This is one of the creepiest forests I've ever been. And I'll be spending the in night Quebec? here. In I'm not sure if you guys have seen the Blair Witch Project, but... Damn. Are the forests safe? This is just giving me Blair Witch Project vibes. Uh, yeah. Moments after stating how familiar this environment is to the Blair Witch... Look how dark that is. That's a kick-ass flashlight. That got rage. Moments after stating how familiar yeah, this environment Silent is Hill, to the Blair, Blair Witch, Witch Project... Get out of there. This happens. What the fu... That cursed ass branch. What's the breathing? Oh fuck! What the? Was that Majin Boo? What the fuck? Oh hell no! Oh, fuck. oh hi! He just says hi to that. What? Oh fuck! Oh hi! So oh fuck! What the hell? Oh, that's kind of weird. I need to get out of here. Yeah. A high-pitched voice calls out from the darkness of the woods, I see you. It sounds like it could have been a child. The man behind the camera acknowledges the possibility that it could have been another camper. However, he also mentions that he'd been in these woods many times and had never seen anyone else in them. Furthermore, if it was another camper, it would be an incredibly creepy thing to call out to someone else in the woods, knowing the kind of fear it would likely instill in anybody. The man hey, made you... it back to his campsite afterwards, Anything and didn't hear happened? the voice ever again. Shit. Hey, go out with a gun. I would investigate. Another form of camping is car camping, usually done in a truck, van, or Jeep larger Cherokee? vehicle. Car camping can provide an Kabucha? added sense of security over a tent for a multitude of reasons. In the following video, a young man named Noah took his truck out to Sun River, Oregon, where he found Ooh. a deserted road alongside the woods. That's pretty. Noah decided to take his truck oh down this God, road and park not... it there for the night, nope. where he would sleep. He thought this would be a perfect place to camp out since no one else would be around, but he was mistaken. How At long? some point in the night, Noah was awoken to sounds outside of his truck, which was when he started recording on his GoPro. I'm currently sleeping in the back of my truck right now. I don't even know what time it is. You don't and got a phone? someone walking around my truck right now. If you can hear nah. that. It's Did you go cool. camping without a strap? Bro. Okay, well, what happens? He's been walking around for Do like you get robbed? 20 minutes already. Did he um, bang your truck? I got my cab, though. I don't really know what to do. I'm a little freaked out right now. He don't, and he don't got it's it. It's like pitch black outside. Probably like 2 in the morning. And he just keeps walking around, and he's like really close to my truck. I've never been this scared, and like this doesn't make any sense because I parked somewhere where you couldn't see. No one was on that road. He's literally, he's literally. Uh, nah, did he just park on the side of the road? Did you not even pull into a campground? What? He's literally knocking on my truck. Does he get him on camera? The canopy. Oh hell no! Nah, no. I don't you know if there's anyone in here. No. Just yell, "I have a shotgun," and they'll probably leave you alone. I'm so scared. Unless they got one too. I come back here. He keeps walking around. I don't get it. He's seeing if you got s'mores. Like, how is he? No, I've noticed. Doesn't make any sense. Maybe he doesn't know he's in there. We'll see. Why would it? No, he. That's why he's knocking. What the fuck? Let me see! I've never been this scared ever. This dude doing an ASMR in my ear. It is 2.30. He guessed it. Cursed. Still walking around my truck. I'm gonna try to see if I can flash my light to get him scared. I was trying to peep if he got service. Probably not. Throughout the video, someone can be heard rubbing their fingers against the glass of the truck. And then at multiple points, there's a tapping on the glass too. The video then cuts to the next day, where Noah can see exactly what the person oh, outside of his truck was doing. No. Hand marks all along the back windshield, which suggests the person was trying. <laughs> Noah can see exactly he didn't what fuck the, with per the American flag person look. outside of his truck was doing. He was messing with everything else, but he was like, "Oh, respect, bro." <laughs> Hand marks. He was definitely American. You can definitely get fingerprints. Fingerprints American. All along the back least. windshield, which suggests the person was trying to wipe away the dirt on the glass to get a look inside the truck. In, in Oregon. So Noah wasn't as alone in those woods as he thought he would have been. But luckily he was in the safety of a locked vehicle as opposed to a tent. 
He got to get a ring there. camera for his Lost scratches. Tacoma. What is this? Stuff like Forum? that. Um, uh, dragging his finger on my side of my truck. Well, it looks like to be trying to get inside my truck. It was Bigfoot again, bro. He's trying to get in my truck. Um, at least the back canopy was locked, but... Um, yeah. Would they say this was Oregon? Yeah, bro. Was this mating season? It's Bigfoot mating season. He that was, was trying the to result. get in. Another instance of someone having an unexpected visitor while car camping comes from the YouTube channel Asleep Five Decades. This time it's a woman named Elisa in her van camping out overnight. Lisa nicknames her van the Dream Machine, which she travels in. She was awoken That's from a deep sweet. sleep around 4.30 in the morning to a knocking on her van, right by her head. There were Is three the sets van? of knocks, each set with three knocks, and by the third set of knocks, she pulled out her phone and started recording. Pulled out her gun and started shouting. That's Somebody's what... back here again. Oh wait, have we seen this? I hear footprints. Hello? How can I help you? You say hello back? It's 4.30 in the morning. I don't I feel safe. Have. Who are you? 4.30? What the fuck? Go the fuck to bed. The man Bro, knocking Arcadian on the van rhythm is heard fucked saying, up. I have a question for you. For someone to approach a woman's van at 4.30 in the morning, knowing she's inside of it and say- <laughs> No, she didn't. I hear footprints. If this was a fake video, she picked up her own script, bro, and posted it. She edited this on CapCut. Question for you is as big of a red flag as can be. Lisa then peeks out the front of her van to see a car parked way down the road with its headlights on. Likely the car the person knocking the on plates. the van arrived in. So I quietly got up and I went to the front and I peeked out. Get into the driver's seat. Get the place and with their phone that you're recording way on. Up at the, on the drive, all I could see is like headlights, and then they backed the out and went right and left. There. Whether there was someone else in the car or not is unknown. The next morning, Lisa I finds think we've large seen boot marks in the snow right outside Nothing her happened? van. It's very possible the man outside of her van tried to enter the van, only to realize it was locked. Big ass feet. Luckily, Lisa had the doors locked, but after something like this happens, if you're in a vehicle, it would be best to get behind the wheel and drive somewhere else immediately. Fortunately for Lisa, things didn't go south this time. In this last video, YouTuber Ads Ventures takes his stealth camper van out to the woods in honor of Halloween night. Oh, he got night. the angles? He brings his van as close to the woods as he can before he has to continue into the woods Ooh, on foot. and the rap? Yeah, oh, he's a professional, bro. For now, unfortunately, this is the closest that we can get to the woods. And he has we an accident? can't take the van any further, but oh, yeah. we'll be going in there This is gonna work. Foot. Alongside the woods is an old church house and cemetery that he has to pass before entering the woods. While he decides to post up and make a latte in the woods, this happens. The most British thing you could do ever. <laughs> I didn't really think this through. I should have got a saucepan with a lid. <laughs> He's like, I need, I need to take a pit stop. Oh hell no! An easily no. missed white shadow can be seen walking past in the background. He wants some coffee and too. Then multiple times, he hears sounds not far away, and when he looks off to the Fucking distance, lost. small orb-like lights appear at times. What's that? I've come up to that bit where the light was just shining. You got a good light though. What? Could be someone's flashlight or something. I'm gonna have to go and check that out. Where the hell? You, you gonna but most notably, to. perhaps you missed you it, will. was a silhouette looking object just briefly exposed by the light. He's moved, I'm gonna have to go and check that out. But this might not be the last time this what is seen. What the fuck is that? He wanna As sip. he continues to walk, he stops in his tracks as he's sure he sees a person ahead of him in the darkness. I swear, I keep seeing someone hold on. Maybe someone getting their steps in? I don't... Go like, hey, There's hey! No there. I swear, there was. I think I'm gonna go this way, to be honest with you. Person. I'm not even joking. What the, the fuck? fuck? My Michael Myers? Can't see anything. Are they chasing him? Oh, he says he's confident this was a person as he saw them turn around and look at him. 
Others in the comments the suggest it was a mannequin placed there by someone as a Halloween prank, while others bring up the close proximity to the cemetery and the white orbs and suggest that something paranormal was going on. No, and of course, it didn't there have are some people who think it could have been staged as well. That was but Slender what was really Man. He got a different in this skin. Video is anybody's guess? He's switching it up from the suit. Thank you, Mr. Nightmare. Your soothing horror storytelling voice. That was pretty good. Thank you, Mr. Nightmare. Everyone say bye to YouTube just in case I post it. Peace out, baby.